So the idea of the spirit of the community was like, well, we looked into the community and it was like, well, who lives here? So after thinking about that for a while and kind of go out, we took a, a view of the different murals that were already here. Uh, we looked at, uh, we had some demographic breakdowns at Maddie Roads as far as uh, the kids that we were able to reach and the families that we talked to. So we found out that we have a lot of Polish and Burmese, uh, a lot of uh, Arabic families, a lot of other, like, just other cultures that are living here. So that gave us the idea of like, well, hey, the Northeast isn't just, you know, Hispanics, Blacks, and Whites. It's a, it's a cultural melting pot. There's a lot of people here that are here from other countries, almost like, an, like, almost like an ambassador. An ambassador's a representative. So there's a lot of people that are here that are representatives of the other countries that they're from, living here in the Northeast. So it came with the idea, it's like, well, the Northeast is like a new, uh, it's a new melting pot, but it's also like a veritable kingdom. So we're all living here in this kingdom, and we should stop seeing ourselves as, um, it's being separate but equal, but it's being um, it's being different. But we're we're all here in the same plane. So then the other problem is like with well, the graffiti abatement. Like everyone keeps writing over everything, particularly like graffiti over everything. A lot of people down here are, like fighting and killing each other, just doing whatever in schools. So hey, if we saw each other as uh, as people living all in one kingdom, we're all working together. If we stop doing these different things to each other that are breaking ourselves down, we don't we work out better. So we have the different faces that represent as, as many of the different cultures that we could think of. So we have like the Aztec warrior, we have a lady from Ghana, we have a lady that's like from the, the Sikh or this Arabic, we also have another guy that's like Vietnamese, but he can also get African. Another guy that's like Cuban or Hispanic, and some people that are from like Nepal and Polish. Then we have other small faces that are hidden in. They're kind of like people like that you don't see or that you notice, but they don't, um, they feel they don't, they don't get recognized. So some of the initial reactions are that we, we were hoping to get anyway, or people showing up saying, hey, that's me, or hey, where am I at that mural? And say, hey, we have a spot for you too. The green behind them were uh, supposed to represent the strands of fate and how all of our storylines are different, but since we're all living here together, that they all combine, they all converge together. So that's why we're all, we're all living here together. We're not separate, even though we have the different continents in the background, which represent where they came from or where they, they might have been from, they're living here now. The huge diamond shape in the center is supposed to um, act as almost like a border, like a border for our lands, but it also brings us together and it shows us how we fit together. The new title, A Kingdom Divided Against Itself Cannot Stand, is more of a, a theological approach to understanding who we are and how we should act and who we should be. So if we're all fighting against each other, instead of trying to help each other uh, succeed, make it, stand out, and do what needs to be done, then we're, we're constantly tearing each other down. If we're tearing each other down from the inside out, then we don't need any outside forces to oppose us to do it for us. We're doing it ourselves.